TVs have drastically changed over time from gigantic tube monsters to the extremely slim and capable devices that we see today. And over the years, our expectation for high quality audio has changed as well. Long gone are the days of towering speaker systems dominating our living rooms, and we trade those in for speakers that are much more compact and manageable. And with constantly improving audio quality, supporting Dolby Atmos and spatial audio taking over, we are always looking at ways to improve our sound systems in order to get the best out of our speakers. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the optical cable and the HDMI cable to see which one comes out more useful. What's going on guys? It is I, Larry the Tech Guy, coming at you guys with another video. I'm the owner of a tech installation business called TechWorks TV Mounting, and in my business, we install a lot of sound systems. And one thing that my customers ask me a lot is, which cord is better? The optical cord or the HDMI cord you use for my speaker system? It's a good question. So, that's why I decided, let me make this video, break it all down for you guys so y'all have a clear picture. So let's get into it. When it comes to sound systems, most of us want the best quality that we can get. Because the better the quality of the audio, the closer you feel to the sound or the movie that you're watching it from. There's nothing more frustrating than watching this really good movie and you got kind of crappy audio and it just kind of throws everything off. Something kind of feels missing. Which is why sound bars and speaker systems are just becoming more and more popular these days. The super slim TVs that we have nowadays are amazing, but there's one thing that they all lack and that's high quality audio. When you buy a brand new soundbar for your TV, most of them come with this strange looking cable called an optical cable that most of us have never even seen before. But we put two and two together and we see that the cable matches up with the port on the back of the soundbar. So we plug that in and then we're good to go. What you also may notice is that there's an HDMI port on the back of the soundbar as well. But why is there both instead of just one? Well, the optical cord has been around for a while now originating in the 80s as a way for people to hook up CD players to receivers and such. And at the time, the optical cord was a thing of the future. I mean, it was a cable made out of glass, not copper like we were used to. And it worked great given the audio quality that we had back then. And it even supported the first versions of Dolby Digital. So it was manufactured with almost every TV up until the end of the 90s. But lo and behold, in the early 2000s, the HDMI cord was invented. And with its ability to transmit much higher audio quality such as Dolby True HD, and it transmitted very high quality video files as well. The optical cord was left in the dust. Around 2009, TV manufacturers started installing ARC ports, which is short for Audio Return Channel, as a way to send audio and video data through the same HDMI cable that we already had, which was the beginning of the end for the optical cord. It made it much more convenient to hook up sound bars and speakers to our TVs, and it produced a higher quality audio. While you can still get by by using the optical cord for your sound bar, switching to an HDMI cord will increase your audio quality quite a bit. The only reason the optical cord is still being used is because most sound bar manufacturers haven't let it go yet. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you guys got anything useful out of it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe on the page. If you have any questions about sound bars or any other devices that I talk about in my videos, go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well. Till next time, see you guys later. Peace. 